everybody, and welcome back to Big Minnow Mike's Fishing Show. In this episode, I want to show you my 1986 Chevy Silverado. What sets the C10 apart, or as I call it, the trout truck, is this beautiful 11 foot fly rod holder from River Quiver. Guys, I know when you're out there fly fishing, the one thing you don't want to do is having to take down your poles and set them back up, especially when you're on the water. You want to make sure when you're out there, you're tied up and you're ready to rock and roll. So, let me show you around the truck real quick. Now, first off, what's not to love about a mid 80s square body Chevy pickup truck? I mean, you got the squared off front end, you got the rally wheels. I mean, it's an absolutely incredible truck here. But this isn't a truck show, this is a fishing show. So this is gonna be the star of the show. This is my River Quiver Sage Green Limited Edition fly rod holder. Now, I think it's about a country mile long, but it's got some pretty cool features, which I think you guys are gonna like, especially when you wanna get down the water and not deal with having to put your rods back together. First, it's got a locking push button lever right here. Mine holds two, but you can get the four banger as well too. And this is perfect for getting on the water, locking up, and you're ready to go. Now, if you guys have a buddy that can help you put this together, I would totally suggest that. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, I was able to get this done myself. It took a few beers, some colorful language, but at the end of the day, I got it done. And really, I think it turned out pretty nicely. All right, guys, lastly, let me go ahead and show you the lockbox as well, too. Now, I'll show you with this. With these homemade racks, they're a little loosey-goosey. Um, so you want a little peace of mind when you're going 65 miles an hour down the road that your $2,500 investment isn't going to be flying out the back. So I will tell you, and for just, you know, anybody who may want to break in, these locks are pretty indestructible. I mean, there's no way to get in this way. There's no way to pick it this way. Um, I know with some other companies, uh, you know, you could use a butter knife to get in. Riversmith is amazing. This, I mean, this is the Fort Knox of uh, fly fishing holders right here. So um, definitely check these out. Hey everybody, back at Big Minnow Studios. And today we're, uh, we're sipping on a little fatty natty over here. Uh, this is a good way to class up a natural light. So, um, well, we've come to the end of episode two and um, I wanna thank everybody who's watched the first episode and kind of gave me their input on how I can improve further episodes. Um, first and foremost, I don't know what I'm doing. But um, it's all a learning curve and it's all fun. Um, one thing that I heard a lot of, lighting. And you're probably asking yourself a couple things. Well, first off, how many flannels does that guy own? And why is he wearing sunglasses? And I've always wondered that too. Why do people always wear sunglasses in YouTube videos? Well, the answer is simple. Is you have a light bulb, boom, right in your eyeballs. So you kind of need one. And to the first question, I don't have enough flannels. But you can never have too many of those. So there's a few things I've learned that uh, I think I need to improve on. One being poor lighting, and rather than doing the right thing and just going off and purchasing a, an actual light, I instead I got a light bulb and put a Kleenex in front of it. And there you go, studio lighting. I've also learned apparently you can't do this all on your phone. I guess I have to uh, dust off the old gateway computer and uh, fire that bad boy up uh, to get a little better video editing. Well, the experts also say that you probably need good content to have a successful channel. So, uh, not sure if you're going to get that here. According to Wikipedia, GoPro Incorporated is an hey, American technology company. Alexa, started in 2000. shut up. You know, as I mentioned on the first episode, this is all just for fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a guy who likes to fish and collect old fishing stuff. So... Uh, I think the next episode, what we're going to do, I think we're going to get out there and actually do some fly fishing. I know I mentioned that in the first episode, but this next one, I promise, we're going to get out there and we're going to get some footage on the water. So until next time, guys, cheers. We'll see you around.